just coming back from the Fushimi Inari shrine here and uh, I got up super early so that I could go get some pictures with no one in the frame and uh, as always go check out Instagram to see those but it was incredible out nice and cold morning but just feels nice now I'm just walking back to where I'm staying gonna go pack up and then today it is off to Tokyo today is my last day in Kyoto so I am going to take the Shinkansen again bullet train and I am stoked because this time it's not gonna be a 12 minute ride it's gonna be about two hours and uh, it's gonna be fun so let's get the day started here in the Kyoto train station waiting for the Shinkansen. I could take this one right here, but I have an unreserved seat so I can just take whatever train I want and there's new trains coming every 10 minutes. I'm gonna skip this one, try and get in contact with my friend who's standing at the other platform over here looking at her phone and not, not paying attention. But check this train out, it's coming in. They are so incredible. Massive train, so cool. So, it is off to Tokyo at very high rates of speed. So, as you can probably guess, I am fascinated by this train and uh, I was just doing some reading on it and I got a little bit more information that I thought I'd share with you guys because I find it so incredibly interesting. Uh, so these trains have been around for about 50 years and they've slowly gotten uh, faster and faster as time has gone on. And this is kind of the newest version of these very, very fast trains. I don't think these trains are actually magnetic levitation trains. They have tracks and I think that's how they go down the line is like a traditional train would, um, which I was under the impression that they were magnetic levitation. But it's almost more impressive because going 175 miles an hour on tracks is its crazy. I can't understand how they do it. And these newest ones, I think they came out in the late 2000s. They have the ability to lift one direction or the other depending on the curve in the track so they can actually go around all of the curves in the track at full speed which is incredible they just they don't need to slow down at all and so I was reading that in their 50 year history they've had 10 billion passengers and they've had not a single death in that 50 year time period it's the safest train in the world and it's just it's just incredible to me I find it very very interesting they also have a casual 23,000 horsepower they're also the fastest accelerating trains in the world just so over engineered in the best of ways it's mind-blowing to me I love these engineering projects and I love learning about them it's so cool so yeah we're just on our way cruising to Tokyo it's gonna take about two hours to get there and uh, just casually going 175 miles an hour through the Japanese countryside and it's so beautiful. Okay, so I finally made it to uh, where I'm gonna stay tonight. And the reason that I jumped ahead in time a little bit is because I took the subway and it is exactly like you've seen on television before with how crowded it is. And so it's kind of impossible to film uh, because you're just packed in there like sardines. So I didn't film in the train and uh, now I just went and got settled. And now I am headed out the sun is starting to set and uh, I'm headed to a camera store actually. I've been looking for this one specific filter for the, the Mavic and uh, no one's had it across multiple countries, multiple cities. So I've got a lead on one here in Tokyo 
and uh, I think there are some pretty amazing camera stores here, so I'm gonna go find that right now. staying over here near Shinjuku and it is just amazing like the whole city is alive like there are so many people here and everything is happening everywhere it's really really incredible just leaving Shinjuku now because uh, I have a lot of work to do so I'm gonna go get that done and then gonna come back and get after it tomorrow so thank you guys for watching and I will see you then